Broadcasting from our studios in the UK. Heard around the world. Automatic musical instruments. On app, on Alexa speakers and online. Tuesday Night Live. With James Dundon. Well, good evening. It's great to be here. Uh, not only on the radio tonight, we're also doing a Facebook Live, which you can watch back. We're going to have it on our page for you to enjoy in all, all its technical colour glory. Um, you can see a video of me here in the studio doing the show, and we do this occasionally just for a little bit of fun and novelty. Uh, so wherever you're listening and interacting with us tonight, you're very, very welcome. And we will be taking your messages on Facebook, and of course when we do things like the One Second Song and the Backwards Book, um, will you be able to uh, share your answer on the Facebook Live, or maybe you'll email it in in secret? You don't want to give the game away, make it easy for other people. Oh, you don't want to do that. Um, so look, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. On the show, Mikey Mills tells us more about our instrument of the week that you've been hearing a lot of, because this is in the US, this Ruth. 36 with Gavin Madonna and uh, music arranger Mikey Mills showing off some of the works that he's done on this particular instrument and telling us a bit more about it. This is the roof with all the uh, figures, the animated figures. And I know, you know, you've got band masters and bell ringers. That's the standard. Well, this is a full animated orchestra. It's quite something. You can see a picture of it on our Facebook page right now. If you have a look out for Mechanical Music Radio. Right, coming up just round the corner, we're going to get into the first part of that. And also our first game of the evening is going to be the Backward Book. We're going to do something a bit different on that tonight. First, though, I thought we'd start with Robinson's Gavioli, a nice cheerful tune. I see dark evenings get increasingly longer. Let's brighten things up a little bit with the Blackpool Bell. to hear Robinson's Gavioli and the Blackpool Bell evening Tuesday night live through till 10 on air and on Facebook live as well and for those watching on Facebook will have just noticed I was past a little beverage by my partner Matt who's bought me a nice gin with ice okay 
See, I've been so big. So the problem this week, the drama in the last few days, has been that one of my computers, because I've got two computers here that run Mechanical Music Radio, one as a backup. Well, it was the backup machine that went bang. I had the blue screen of death. So it's cost me a lot of money. I had to go to a computer engineer and I've paid £250. I could have bought a new one for that, couldn't I? Uh, <laughs> you know what it's like when you hand things to engineers. It's like, you know, taking a car to the garage. It's always more than you expect. So anyway, it's all fine. It's all working. Although I lost a lot from it. And it's only when I started or just about to start doing the live show tonight that I suddenly realised how many jingles and things that I was missing so I've had to sort of get everything all set back up, and I think everything's working now. In fact, if I play this button, we should hear a jingle, hopefully. Yes. Well, I'm glad it works. And uh, let's continue now. Our instrument of the week is the Madonna family's 36 Ruth. It's in the US, a fantastic organ. It was uh, a custom order for a man in America who... Uh, owned a patent for mechanical figures on amusement rides, so it's truly like no other, because you've got a full orchestra animated playing various instruments, so we're not talking about bog-standard bell ringers and drum players. Here, yeah, there's violinists, there's trumpet players, there's the, the, the lot, just everything. So it really is a superb instrument. And someone who's been doing a lot of arranging for it is Mikey Mills, young guy who we've featured on the programme in the past. And we're going to play some of his arrangements on the programme tonight. I caught up with him earlier. This is a Ruth 36X. It was a custom order from Ruth. As the guy, the guy actually wrote the Ruth. I think he was originally from Germany and knew of Ruth, moved here, opened a beer garden. But this organ has a full mechanical orchestra, which is different than just a band leader and bell ringers. Each uh, orchestra member plays an instrument that is controlled by a different uh, place on the book, or this is on MIDI right now, so this, uh, but it does play the original, the original way. Sure, and because it's on MIDI, that means that doing music arrangements for it is, is so much easier, and you've, you've done a fair few arrangements for them, I think we're going to hear one of them now, it's called Smiling Jack March, that's not a piece I've ever heard of before, Mikey. Yes, I heard it on some circus uh, music recording, and I thought, this is a great march. And I liked a lot of the Carl Fry marches he did for uh, 36 Roos, and I kind of wanted to emulate that style. Well, it's Mikey Mills telling us about the instrument and the arrangement that he did called Smiling Jack March. We'll hear more from Mikey through the evening, and I hope you'll enjoy his hard work right now, playing on our instrument of the week, Madonna Family's 36 Ruth.
this arrangement from Mikey Mills. More from him throughout the evening as we play some more tracks from the Madonna Ruth. Right, are you ready for a game? Get in touch now because we're about to play the backwards book. Mechanical Music Radios. Yes, that's uh, the backwards book. So um, we're going to play you a piece of music that we've flipped around into the reverse. I reckon, though, it's a piece that you'll still be able to identify, even though we are playing this one backwards. Name the piece of music. That's all you've got to do. Don't worry about, you know, naming the organ or anything like that. Just the piece of music. What's this? <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds interesting, doesn't it? But I reckon you can you you must know what that is. It's easy. Backwards. What is it? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, if you have any ideas what that could be, then do get in touch right now. We're going to reveal the answer in about 10 minutes' time. So uh, just uh, hit the website, mechanicalmusicradio.com. You can send us a message on there. You can also text us on the usual number. Hopefully you've got that in your contacts. If not, I'll read it to you. 07871 so email on the website, give us a text. What do you think the uh, the backwards book is? Let us know. Answer in 10. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com Looking for roles for your hand-turned organ? Over 2,000 titles available from the French suppliers Cochard & Co. The world-class arrangements of Hido Van Ost and Tom Meyer are now available for all Raffin scales, with an option to listen to an arrangement before you buy. As well as paper roll, Sebastien Cochard also supply cardboard book music for many scales. Please visit cochardandco.fr, also on Facebook and Instagram. Hello, this is Ian Wollstenholme. Join me for the best in theatre organs and automatic instruments. We explore the best collections and museums around the world. Join me again tomorrow afternoon from 1300 hours at Mechanical Music Radio.
Yeah, we'll play that in a minute. Sorry, Tuesday Night Live, James Dundon here, Mechanical Music Radio. <laughs> Just to prove we are live. Mistakes and all, here we are for a Tuesday night. I got distracted because Pete, Peter Mackett said, not sure what's happening, there's two tracks playing at once. Is there? Um, I did set up the studio in a hurry tonight because, as I say, this computer's been to the engineers and I've had to, yes, pull a few hours this week to get it all back back together for the live show in time. So it's not tested. This is the test. And we are on Facebook Live tonight as well, you know, just to give me an added extra to worry about. Anyway, we won't get bogged down with all the technicals. Hey, hopefully there's some noise coming out the speakers. That's the main thing. Whether you get two songs at once, that's another thing. At least we'll play twice the amount of music in the programme. What are you moaning about? Um, let's have a look at some of the messages coming in. Um, Trev, in his shed, says, uh, enjoyed... Uh, enjoying watching you in the studio. Are you in your red room? Yes, it is rather, isn't it? Well, it's what radio uh, studios usually look like, isn't it? I think. Radio, radio studios in, in, uh, in Amsterdam, maybe. And uh, also uh, we've got... Uh, Ka- I had a text from Catherine saying, please bring back the Connect Four. I tell you what, I'll do it next week. I ran out of inspiration. Um... With, uh, well, I ran out for imp- inspiration for Connect Four tonight. I wasn't sure what to do. And I saw just before we came on air that, bless her, Angela Lansbury's died from bed knobs and broomsticks. And, um, oh God, I've gone blank. Angela Lansbury. Now, what was she in again? It was Murder She Wrote. That was what I was thinking of. Murder She Wrote and various, just absolutely wonderful. 96. So I would have done a Angela Lansbury Connect Four. We could have done that. There's been a murder. And uh, what else have we got here coming in? Uh, we've also got loads of messages. Um, so far as tonight's Connect Four. Uh, no, we didn't do Connect Four in the end, did we? We did the um, backwards book. Do you want to hear it one last time before we reveal? <laughs> think you know get in touch right now you can give us a text 07871 221 511 also on our website mechanicalmusicradio.com i will reveal the answer after the x radcliffe gavioli this is stumbling The ex Radcliffe Gavioli. I'm getting waylaid here trying to sort out people's tech support problems. Um, I think, Peter Mackett, you must have two uh, browsers open on your internet because I've just checked it and it's fine and I haven't had any other messages. So sort yourself out, dear. Um, also, uh, uh, Ingmar from grindorgans.com saying that there's um, problems with the app. So perhaps email me and I'll try and help you because I've had no one else message me. Honestly, it's a nightmare trying to do this station, trying to sort you lot out, what you like. God, blimey. Uh, But this is it. We try and be accessible as many ways to listen and enjoy the radio as possible. It's what it's all about. 
So I do hope you can enjoy us 24 hours a day. And don't forget, this isn't the only show we do. This is one of many. You can tune in to people like Glenn Thomas here from Midnight Tonight. He does a special programme of American band organs and various other instruments. And then we've got people like David Ward, who keeps you company in the afternoon, and Ian Wollstenholme with his theatre organs. You can join him uh, for some great music. So, you know, 24 hours a day, there's always something different at Mechanical Music Radio. Mechanical Music Radio's... Right, the backwards book sounded like this. Have a listen to this. It was interesting, wasn't it? Hey, despite his technical problems, Peter Mack, it was fast as finger first, so it can't be too bad. Uh, Thomas Potter was second, also well done to Mark Raven, who came in third. And then the next text that we had in was here from... Uh, oh, Stuart Mulcrow. Thank you, Stu. Um, also, we got a message here uh, from Matt Lyons, who gets it bang on. Well done to Ingmar as well for getting... On the ball, hi to Newts in Australia, Johnny Pritchard, also Michael Clark in Leeds, Trevin is shared, also hi to Vicky and Bill Warder who gets it bang on. Hi to Josh Lee, uh, also we've got uh, Denise, said what's in your glass tonight James? Gin, a nice strong gin, thank you very much. And uh, we've got another tune here from someone... Oh, yeah, Matt Lyons, who uh, I mentioned earlier, and many others as well. Sorry if I didn't get around to your message. Um, I also saw Johnny Pritchard posted on the Facebook Live and gave it away to everyone, which is which is fair enough. This is, um, this is what it sounded like. And if we play it the right way, you will hear... It was in the mood. And I made it... I made it even uh, even easier because we played the swing the mood selection from Yang Kays and anyway. But that was tonight's backwards book. Later we'll have some fun with a one second song, and I have a brand new mystery noise for you to identify after we do this. <laughs>
you go. Uh, it's uh, a great piece of music, isn't it? Played there on Zonsha, that beautiful street organ, former instrument of the week. Uh, this week, uh, we've got something very different. Uh, it's an American Ruth, uh, built by the Ruth firm and exported straight to the US, now in the care of Gavin Madonna, a family is Model 36X. It's a one-of-a-kind instrument. You'll find out a bit more about it again later and more from Mikey Mills, the young arranger. We've been speaking to him about some of the arrangements he's been doing on this particular organ, so we'll get into that very soon. Hey, we got a new mystery noise. You're going to love this. So, uh, we, I mean, with the mystery noise, it can be difficult. I don't think you'll have a problem with this. Now, bear in mind, this has been recorded in a genuine organ builder's workshop. Uh, thanks to uh, David Burville, uh, thanks to the organ builders at Canterbury, he has managed to record this mystery noise for us. So, yeah, something in his workshop that he's doing. Can you tell me what's going on here? Here it is. First time you've heard it. Mechanical Music Radio's Mystery Noise. Are you ready? Here we go. Ah. That's all you're getting. All right, and again. Any ideas what he's doing there in his workshop? Whatever's just pinged into your head put it down in an email and send it to us. You can get in touch with the show on the website, mechanicalmusicradio.com. Let's see if we can identify what organ builder David Burville is doing there. All right, get in touch now. You can text us on the usual number as well, 07871 221 511. Get your answer in. We'll read out a load of them after this. A Rick Astley hit played on the Conkles organ. It's never going to give you up on Tuesday Night Live at Mechanical Music Radio.
to Kunkel's organ. Never going to give you up. Played there on that fantastic instrument. Don't forget, of course, in the Kunkel's Hall of the Harlem Dry Organ Museum, one of the world's only free entry museums, and it's full of mechanical music and some of the best instruments ever built. And you can go there for free, just walk in and enjoy music every week. I wish we had something like that over here. I really do. Uh, mind you, uh, I suppose places like uh, the Grange Collection with Johnny Ling, that holds a monthly open day. And I just, I did see today, I wonder if I can find it quickly while I'm talking, there is a concert that's been announced with Robert Wolf at the Mighty Wurlitzer. Uh, now, I'm hoping Johnny's put it on the uh, Grange Musical Collection Facebook page, and I, that's where I've seen it. Otherwise, I'll be, oh, God, hang on a minute, it's not... <laughs> Hang on, see, hang on, I'll, I'll look it up and show you in a minute, all right? Give me a song and I'll I'll get the details. I'll actually do some research. Huh? See, I'm working hard for you. Right, keep the guesses coming in for the mystery noise. What's he doing? It's an organ builder doing something. Get your email or your text or your Facebook comment in now. And we'll get through some answers for the mystery noise, see if anyone's got it right. Next, Tuesday Night Live, now playing the Reed family's Pierre Ike. <laughs> That great light of foot march played there on the Reed family's Pierre Reich. This is James Dundon. Welcome to our live show, not just on our website and the usual streaming place tonight. We're also streaming it live on Facebook, so you can see us in pictures and you can watch the show back at any time. It will be on our Facebook wall. I just search for Mechanical Music Radio. You can see I'm wearing a nice check shirt. What else? And uh, I've uh, downed my gin. I've got some ice left. Some ice, could do the top up. I don't know if he's listening downstairs. No. Uh, I'll uh, I'll sort it out. Uh, hey, we got some, some guesses that have come in. Mechanical Music Radio's Mystery Noise. Ready for this? Uh, this is what we're identifying. I'm going to pick five people at random out of all the guesses we've had in. 
Uh, the first one we'll go for uh, Mark Raven. He said, is the mystery noise a chisel marking one of the carvings or figures on the front of an organ? So it's a chisel, chiseling wood. Nice soft carving wood. No, good guess. Uh, one here from Matt Lyons who says, is the mystery noise marking something with a pencil? Oh, yeah, sounds like it, doesn't it? No. No. Uh, Trevor Nished <laughs> says, is it David Burville cutting his sandwiches? So he's there, made, he's made his sandwiches and then he just gets a knife and he scores it in half, uh, ready to have a nice bite-sized sandwich. <laughs> no. I mean, it is a sound that you'd make in an organ builder's workshop, but... Trust me, I've been to Burville's workshop. He he doesn't make his own sandwiches. Kelly does that for him. Uh, uh, guessing on Facebook from Johnny Pritchard. We'll pick Johnny's out. Pencils drawing a line. I think it was similar to Matt Lyon's one, wasn't it? No. So time for one more. One more. Uh, Ingmar says, is it perforating a book? I see, so we're making holes in card, are we? No! It's not. Uh, But thank you for your guesses. Shall we do a rollover then? We'll be back on the live show next week. Give it some thought. What does this sound like? What are we doing in an organ builder's workshop? If you think you know... Uh, you can send us a, an email and we'll put you in the pot for next week. And other five guesses will be featured on the show. Uh, get in touch now on the website, mechanicalmusicradio.com. See if you can identify this. Good luck. Mechanical Music Radio's Mystery Noise. If you'd rather be anywhere than stuck indoors arranging insurance, why not give Walker Midgley Insurance Brokers a call today? We've been established for over 40 years, so our friendly specialists can sort the right cover. For organs, steam vehicles, modelers, clubs and societies, as well as vintage tractors and much more. We believe we can beat your existing quote. Call us today on 0114 250 2770. Walker Midgley is part of the Towergate Underwriting Group Limited, who are authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Cover is for UK-based customers only. The KDV in the Netherlands, highlighting the importance of the Dutch street organ. Organising many friendly events free to attend and the full-colour magazine, Het Pyramid, published four times a year with interesting articles about the technique and history of the Dutch street organ. Details at dryorgel.org. The KDV, Circle of Organ Friends.
fantastic plural organ plinker. And if you like happy music like that, happy hour on tonight at 11 o'clock, 2300 hours. And again tomorrow, nine in the morning, three in the afternoon, 11 at night, you will have a happy hour playing stuff like that. Great. Now, earlier, I happened to mention that I saw an advertisement go out for Robert Wolf playing somewhere other than the Thirstford Collection. Indeed, it's a mechanical music collection he's going to be at. He was recently at Pipes in the Peaks. I don't know if you saw the video we shared on our Facebook page of him playing with that Decap drum machine they've got. That was a special bill that they had done by the Decap Rentals firm, automated drum kit, uh, that basically plays rhythm tracks. And, I mean, you imagine people in the 1920s, if they saw and heard that, they would be gog-eyed. So we're so lucky to have these different ideas. Uh, he will be off to the Grange collection. I mentioned a minute ago he's going to be playing. This is later this month, Saturday, the 29th of October. Doors open 1.15 in the afternoon, and the concert starts at 2. Admission, £12 each. And this is playing the Mighty Wurlitzer Theatre Organ, the ex Granada at Slough instrument that is now at the Grange Collection. And I'm sure you know loads of work uh, all about what Johnny Ling's been up to to amass this incredible collection of automatic instruments and now more and more theatre organs, it seems, uh, joining the collection all the time. So you can go along and hear the mighty well, it's a theatre organ there, played at its very best with Robert Wolfe. And to wet your whistle, here he is on the Thirstfords Wurlitzer and the Masquerade Waltz.
Wolfie at the World. Let's see, you can see him in concert at the Grange Musical Collection at Palgrave Dis near Norfolk. It's happening Saturday, 29th of October. Doors open from 1.15. Details on the TG Musical Collection page. Thanks for listening to Tuesday Night Live tonight. We're ending in a bit of a spectacular way because we have a superb medley that's been done by Mikey Mills uh, on our Instrument of the Week for Madonna Family's Model 36, Ruth. I caught up with Mikey just before the uh, programme tonight and asked him about music arranging, how he does it. Does he use Cakewalk? I use a programme called Mixcraft. Yeah. I mean, it's designed for anything but mechanical organs, but I, I make do with it, and it does a good job. Okay. And I've been I've doing never, this for... I've never heard of mixed craft. What, I mean, what would you say are the... Is there any benefits? I'm assuming you've, you've played around with Cakewalk, which is what most people use normally. Well, I tried Cakewalk, and then I said, there's too much stuff here. I, I don't understand it. I'll just go back to what I use. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with mixed craft, is that usually for producing pop songs? Is it a bit like garage oh, yeah, band? Yeah, is it yeah. is it more they, of a, a program like they that? They sort of keep adding more features geared toward hip hop, which is basically <laughs> the opposite of anything I work <laughs> with. But I there's a bunch of plugins I've gotten to make sure that I can get the music right for uh, for an organ and even book cutting. I've been getting into that. I've been working with Verbeek to cut uh, book music. Okay, yeah, great. Um, I mean, I must admit, here in the here in the Mechanical Music Radio studio, I have to the right of me a foot treadle punching machine, um, which I use for repairs. I used to, when I was young and stupid, your sort of age, um, punch uh, complete books start to finish. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then I decided that uh, I'd, I'd probably need new knees by the time I was 30. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I sort of quickly gave that up. But but these days with elect- electronic punching, and now I even see people like McCarthy Music are doing laser cutting on cardboard quite successfully, and you just think, well, we'll never see the days again where us enthusiasts are tucked away in a bedroom um, spending hours punching holes in in card it, it you know you it just doesn't make sense now as an hourly rate you can afford the the meterage to to pay someone to to do it yeah right i can imagine yeah. hours and hours so i uh, you know i uh, admire anyone that's ever punched a book from start to finish we ought to do that as a tuesday talking point one week actually quite good um, I when we spoke to Mikey before, I did ask him about this medley that we're about to end the show on tonight. It really is a spectacular nine minuter. It's from a musical, Hello Dolly. And as I said to Mikey, you know, I always buy medleys from arrangers because you certainly get your uh, your money's worth. And Mikey did admit to me it took him a lot of work to because obviously you haven't got repeat, repeat. You know, you can't repeat the verse and the chorus. You, you've got to do a you know, several tunes in one selection. 40 to 50 hours. I stopped counting at a point, but I saw the show live and I said, this is just wonderful music, but it had never been done. Okay. This is the, the Hello, so I thought, Hello Dolly, which is a, a show I'm not familiar with, but I do actually recognize a few pieces in it. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, a great show. The... Uh, Probably my favorite of it is Before the Parade Passes By, which is a march in the middle of it. And I would say that's the biggest uh, climax of the whole piece. Well, you can have a look at Mikey's website for more information about his music arrangements. And it's a very informative website as well. It's mechanicalmusic.org. Thanks to Mikey for his time earlier. Uh, We're going to play it now. This is the Hello Dolly medley. And while this is on, remember, you can get your requests in the queue because we're playing nothing but what you want to hear after 10 o'clock. So let us know what you want right now at mechanicalmusicradio.com, the request hour coming up after this. Hello Dolly on the Madani family's Model 36 roof, our instrument of the week.
Mechanical Music Radio is totally free to enjoy. You can help towards our running costs with a small PayPal donation. It all helps. Please go to mechanicalmusicradio.com. Thank you.